food-based startups are becoming more and more prevalent across the world. New creations, methods and trends are being developed in food preparation not only for sustenance but also for enjoyment. There is a thriving foodie market within the Caribbean region that many are capitalizing on. We decided to check out some events and see what food innovations are out there. <laughs> so we're heading to the National Fruit Festival in New Grant. Uh, I've never been a fruit festival. I didn't even know it had a fruit festival. So I'm, I, I'm really interested in seeing what they have. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark the Driver, what do you expect to see at the National Fruit Festival? Well, I hope to see fruits. And, well, you know, just to see, <laughs> just to see like if if it's actually a fruit festival in the sense where you're not going to show more fruits that are custom seeing. I know if there are any regional fruits that I've never seen before. I'm just interested in seeing something new, I guess. Right, so in other words, you're looking for some innovative displays, some rare food, something exotic. Yeah, some different. Right. Okay. Festival, there were a lot of honey based products. I was surprised. I didn't know it had so many. I really didn't. Um, I thought that that sector was dying. There was this one lady who made soaps and skin lotions using local fruits and vegetables such as mangoes and even honey in some of her lotions. Uh, I, I tested it. It really was great. <laughs> the fruit festival had no shortage of producers. However, there were things there that we were not expecting. Yeah, when I got there, I saw a lot more plants than anything else. There was a lot of trees, a lot of ornamental plants and stuff like that on sale. And the fruits, they were domestic fruits. There were no exotic fruits, there were no fruits from other regions, nothing like that. Even so, the organizers of the event, the Tableland Pineapple Farmers Association, should be commended for their efforts as they seek to involve the public in agricultural activities. After all, we were only there on the third day of the event. Mm -hmm. So we we were as soon as we arrived at the National Fruit Festival. Um, what was the first thing that we saw? Sugar cane juice. So, who would have thought? I know we used to do this when we were younger. You know, you just go and you cut a piece of cane and you know, you suck that juice up. <laughs> but watch! They put this in bottles and selling it. Like really, who would have thought? That was a big thing. Like if now thinking about it, it really is a big thing. I 
and then the machine that he was using um i think he said it was an, like an antique it's antique. a key juicer but it's an antique yeah it's an antique machine you really find these around so how did you get it working did you fix it did you build it okay this machine was actually so how is it hard to maintain? No, no, it's not difficult to maintain. It's, uh, Oh, oh, I um, redesigned re it. Uh, Alright. Any, is there any um, like for this waste? Yes, we have um, we want to drop the staff producer bagas. Uh -huh. We could use for plants or for mulch. Alright. That is very good. Alright. Um, the chicken people need some bagas. It's yeah, we recently do this. This is a um, family-based business. Uh, we grow our cane. We grow different varieties of cane. We give it different tastes. 